Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a retrofit oven for your headlights. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a retrofit oven for your headlights out of a cardboard box, a cardboard tube, some tape, some blocks of wood, uh, a heat gun. And I'm going to show you step by step how to make it, the measurements of the box and everything else. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to make your own oven if you do not have one you can use for your headlights or your headlights are too big to fit into your oven in your kitchen. You can simply make this in 20 minutes. It works great. I use it personally on headlights. If you need to, you can throw it away when you're done and then build another one the next time you need to open a set of headlights. It costs under $20 to make this if you already have a heat gun. It takes less than 20 minutes. So welcome to my channel. If you're new here, please subscribe and uh, let's just get right into it. What you need is a cardboard box. I got this one from Home Depot. It was 12 bucks and you're going to want a cardboard box that is about 46 inches long 24 25 inches in height the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to cut this at about the nine inch mark right here so this cardboard tube it's it's pretty thick uh, it needs to be for the heat guns. The heat gun's going to go in here. And you can pick these up at any of your local shipping places UPS store, Mail and More, Parcel Place, stuff like that. Uh, I think this was $3.99. You want to try to get a diameter that's around 4 to 5 inches, maybe 10 to 14 centimeters. So once you uh, measure out your 8 to 9 inches on here, make sure you mark it. Put your gloves and your safety glasses on. So uh, let's, let's get this cut. Create the world in the woman. Make her as a pearls, make her as a man. I am all the greatest, the great I am. The lion in the lamb, lion in the lamb. If you want to wake up, this place is like a take you. All right, guys, so next up, you're going to take one end of your box here. And what you want to do is, you want to cut a square right here for an opening on the inside flap. And then this one that folds up, you want to cut a circle in this so that you can put your cardboard tube in here and that's where your heat gun's going to rest. Take a marker and just trace a circle here. And then take this here and just cut out your circle. I left a little extra room on mine from where I traced so that it's a nice tight fit. There we go. Nice good fit. So now we got the tube with this opening here. So what we could do is tape this up so that it's nice and sealed. And you can just use some normal packing tape. Let's get this taped up and then we'll move on to the other end where we're gonna be putting the headlights in and I'll show you how to do that. All right guys, so we have our one end done with the cardboard tube sticking out for the heat gun. Now, as for the inside, what you're going to want to do is you want to get some two by fours and put them in there like this have them stacked i've got two of them in here and i'll have to readjust them when i put the headlights in but what this does is it allows the headlight to sit off of the bottom of the box so that the heat from the heat gun gets underneath the headlight to warm up the glue on the bottom of it because if it sits on the bottom 
there's a good chance that it might not get the same amount of heat as the rest of the headlight. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go get our new headlights, open them up, we're going to preheat this box. Now that we have our box built and everything set up, the next step is going to be preheating the box with our heat gun. So if we come over here where we have everything set up, you're going to take your heat gun right here. You got two settings. You got one and you got two. So you got to look on the side where it tells you the temperatures. And for mine, I'm going to want it on the low setting. Set it in there. Make sure it's nice and safe to let it preheat for 10 minutes. And so while this is preheating, let's get the headlights open and get them ready to put in here. So what we have here is DNA motoring OEM quad replicas for the 09 to 18 Ram. These are the black housing and the cool thing about these is they come with clear corners pre-installed. So let's get these open. Alright guys, so our 10 minute timer has gone off for the preheat. So we need to get our headlight, bring it over to our oven, and when we open it we're going to have our wood blocks in there. Now, I'm going to do this real quick so the heat doesn't escape, but for these quads right here, you want to put the, the lens facing the back of the box here away from the heat gun, and you need to put the wood blocks on an angle when you put them in here, otherwise they're going to fall backwards. Put them in, and then you can get your box set up, and I just got a little piece of tape right there to kind of help keep it closed. Set your timer. Hey Siri, set an 11 minute timer. All right guys, so we have our headlights in our makeshift cardboard box oven. We've got about 10 minutes now until the first light's done. Then some of the tools you're gonna need, you're gonna need a couple different sized flatheads here. Some smaller ones. Some have the thick head on them, some have the thin head on them. Just, just a variation. Then I've got this interior tab removal tool here. It's meant to, to pop tabs on interior of cars. Now you can see, now this tool is great for opening headlights. It is almost perfect. And then of course I've got the Morimoto, the Moto Splitters I think they're called, and these are pretty decent. I mean I have trouble using them on the Ram Quads, they just don't seem to fit right. Uh, they work on some other makes and models pretty well, but I'm not going to be using these today. Main things we're going to be using is the flatheads and this uh, interior trim removal tool. 11 minutes is up. Let's get these headlights out and get them open. So while we're working on these headlights, we're just going to let this oven sit. We're not going to put the other set in there. All right, so what you want to do is you want to start on a corner. I'm going to start on this end. And what you want to do is you want to make sure all the tabs are pulled up because you don't want to get snagged on a tab just make sure you don't break them because they can break pretty easily this glue is so thick in here got that open just got to take it nice and slow here and if you see you just just pull slow, you don't want to pull too hard because you know you could break something, but just keep pulling, keep pulling, and then once you get down the end over here, instead of down here, you're going to kind of have to pull it out instead of bending it. So kind of pull it out like this. I don't know if you guys can see this, but just like that. It's nice and easy. Don't go pulling too hard. You don't want to break anything. And we are done. Lights are open. And there you go. You know, that's how you open a set of headlights with a cardboard oven. Check out the rest of my videos. I'm gonna have more videos coming out soon on this specific build here. This build is getting the Morimoto Mini H1 8.0s with Mini Gatling Gun Black Series shrouds. 
It's getting the Diodynamics Multicolor Demon Eyes. It's getting the Diodynamics M8 Bluetooth controller, uh, some H1 bulbs, some wiring, and that's about it. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a video building the whole thing, showing you how to mount the projectors, how to align them, how to mount the demon eyes, how to hook it all up, wire it all up, power it all up, and install it on your truck. So make sure you like and subscribe if you want to see more videos with retrofit builds for the Ram and other makes and models, as well as other builds, tutorials, install videos, how-tos, DIYs, etc. I make videos on all makes and models. I, I kind of focus more specifically on the Ram because I own one, but I do make videos for other vehicles. Thank you guys for watching the video and uh, I'll see you guys next time.